Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be pros and cons of owning your own home. So if you're somebody who owns your own house, then you probably will know what I'm talking about. If you guys are looking to try to start finding to like you want to go buy your own house like can you talk bitch um, so here I am to give you pros and cons of what it's like to own your own house sometimes I wish we didn't buy our house but then sometimes I'm like I'm glad that we did <laughs> all right you guys so I'm gonna just pretty much be like probably all over the place so the positive things of owning your own home is it is your home you can do whatever you want to your home except for like you can't just do anything to your home because you do have to get like permits if you want to start building onto your home then you have to see if they are okay for the area that you are living in your county it all depends on your county and if what they allow and don't allow so that is one thing that is a little bit positive is you can pretty much do whatever you want to your house you can remodel it to your preference you can add to it like I said you might still have to get building and stuff like that um, the other good thing about owning your own home is your mortgage probably about 85% I'm going to say is 10 times cheaper than renting you guys because you gotta stop and you gotta think when you are buying your home okay everything in your home is your responsibility so why would they jack up your mortgage unless you're like moving into a million dollar home then girl I don't know good night goodbye don't even speak to me <laughs> I'm just joking. so um when you're paying rent you're paying for your dwelling of your house um, you're paying for the maintenance guy and you're paying for anything else that is involved in your rent agreements unlike when you own your own home you're just strictly paying your mortgage and the interest of your mortgage so that is a little bit more of a better thing because it's like we were renting and we were paying let me put it this way what my mortgage is and one of our cars is what we were paying in rent just in rent that was like a cubicle it was a one bedroom apartment and it was small as fuck like you went from one room to the other room and that was it that was our apartment for the price of our mortgage and one of our car payments pretty pathetic if you think about it so that is one of the good things is you will always know that your mortgage will probably be more cheaper than renting um, one other good thing that I like about owning my own home is I can have pets and I don't have to pay pet deposits because pet deposits are ridiculous nowadays just because you want to add to your family for a cat for a cat is much higher than a dog because a cat can obviously do more damage they pee and it soaks into the carpet and destroys it more than a dog would cats have claws so they can destroy more things um, and it's just ridiculous so it's like you can have your pets and you don't have to worry about your landlord knocking on your door going what the hell is your cat fucked up now your damn dogs pissing off the neighbors like no one other thing that is very good about owning your home is you don't have to listen to nobody you don't have to listen to a landlord a renter nobody like you pay your mortgage nobody calls you nobody harasses you nobody does anything unlike a landlord who's constantly calling you wanting to make sure that you're doing this and even more nowadays I've noticed it back in the day if you rented most of the time it everything that was wrong with the house was um, falls on the renter or the owner of the rental property not the fucking renters like my mom rents and she had to go out and buy a stove because the guy that she was renting off said their responsibility like excuse me that's your property 
that is not my mother's property. That is your property. That was your stove that you put in there. My mother did not put a stove in there. So renting is just getting ridiculous. I'm so glad I don't rent just for the simple fact of all that. Um, another good thing about owning your own home is you can do whatever you want on your property. You don't have to, well, you might have some neighbors that are like annoying and whatnot, but they can't really tell you what to do unlike living in an apartment or renting and stuff because you just got those people that are like, you're not supposed to be doing that. 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 Oh, I'm going to go tell the landlord you ain't following the rule. Girl, I do not have to listen to that. I go out, I put flowers in my flower bed, which I could not do in an apartment. I have my own little patio that I can sit. If I wanted to, even though I wouldn't because um, the neighborhood that I live in, houses are very close to one another, but I wouldn't do this. But if I wanted to walk around butt ass naked, I could do it. It's my house, my house, my property. I'm just joking. You probably still get the law caught on you. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm trying to think of other things. Just pretty much like, oh, and you can repaint your walls, which I love. You can make the house more to you, unlike an apartment. You have to rent the apartment and live with boring ass white walls. You can't do anything. You can't change anything out. Like since we've lived here, we've been here for two years. We have already painted our kitchen the way that we wanted to. Um, we have changed out faucets to our preference. Um, we have, we have just, we slowly have been remodeling. And there's stuff that needs to be done because this is a much older home. Our house was built in 1915. So you are to expect problems here and there. So that's pretty much what I can think of right now off the top of my head of the positive of owning a home is pretty much you can do whatever you want in the privacy of your home. You can have as many animals as you want. You can do whatever you want pretty much on your property, especially if you have a fence line, you can really do whatever you want. You can put a swimming pool in your backyard. It's just, there's so much more positivity to owning your home than the negative like so many people think that owning your own home comes with headaches yes sometimes it can and that's what I'm going to get into now is the negative part of owning your home is number one anything that breaks in your house you're fucking responsible for it, girl you can't call Jose and be like get your ass down here and fix my pipes <laughs> You actually have to call John's piping service that wants to charge you an arm and a leg to come out here <laughs> to crawl up under your house and screw it back on or whatever the problem is. <laughs> um, that is one of the biggest downfalls of owning your own home is anything that breaks in your house, you are responsible for it. Um, if your ceiling falls, you're responsible for it. Um, we had to replace our air conditioning unit because when we moved in here, the lady kept saying that the central air and heating was working and we bought it in the winter time. So when summer came around, it was starting to get really hot in the house and I decided to flick the air conditioner on and it was running, but no cold air was coming out and I'm like, hi, we have no air. <laughs> that is definitely... A bad thing is you definitely have to take care of everything um you do have to mow your own grass um that was one of the things is when we first moved in here we did not have a lawnmower or a weed eater and we had to buy that that was an expensive purchase um so things like that you do have to like like pay for your own things to fix things around your house if you want to keep up with your landscaping then you would have to buy landscaping tools those aren't cheap um you do have to pay what i kind of think is your electric bill kind of goes up a little bit more because you're paying for your trash your light usage um your water usage unlike renting most of the time water and trash is involved in your rent so all you're pretty much paying is your lights so you're like 
Girl, I'm paying only $800 in rent and my light bill is only $80. Okay, you're paying over $900. Just in two bills. So, um, that is a little bit, um, that I don't like is like the much larger electric bills. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, like we're having like a problem with bugs if you watched my last um vlog bugs started coming into our house because it is a much older house like i said and we have a crawl space so that's where a lot of them are coming from they're coming up through our cracks from aging of the house and um from our air conditioning vent because we do have a crawl space so that was one thing that we had to take care of. We had to buy our own bug stuffing, or stuffing, stuff to <laughs> get rid of the bugs, um, stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, if like, um, the other day I got a phone call, somebody like gave me a heart attack saying that um, we had used like 4,000 gallons of water. <laughs> And I call them back and they're like, you must live in this county. I'm like, yeah, that's the county I live in. We're in this county. Why, why are you calling us? I'm like, you called me telling me I just used 4,000 gallons of water. I'm calling you back wanting to know why the hell. So stuff like that. Um, I mean, pretty much the negativity of owning your own home is like, you're responsible for anything that breaks in your house. Pretty much. That's the only negativity. Like... Um, I don't really know, like, what else to say about it. Like, so many people are like, oh my god, when you own your own home, you're just burdened with stress, you're burdened with this, I would so much rather rent. And if you really think about it in the long run, it evens itself out. Because think of all the rent that you're dishing out to absolutely nothing, because... The money that you're wasting in rent is not going anywhere except for into somebody else's pockets and they're taking your money going out picking up hookers drinking anything that they're doing and when you're buying your house and you're making your mortgage payment it's actually being put off for a good use it's going into your home your account <laughs> that's how I always think about it and then like I said you're paying a much higher in rent to call Jose to come out and be like, hey, my water pipe bust last night. Can you get down here and fix it? And then I'll be like, yeah, let me sit, call him and see if he's available. Unlike me, on the other hand, my rent is this amount, but I still have enough money because my rent is, or my mortgage is a lot cheaper than my rent. And I can call Bob's plumbing service. I can call Terminex to come out because I can afford that because my mortgage is 10 times lower than a rent would ever be. So that is pretty much what I can think of for owning your own home. And one other thing is once you like, one other thing that I think about owning your own home is, is if you ever decide to get up and you want to upgrade your home, you can always use your old rental prop or your property. And you can rent it out and make cash off of it. You can't do that with renting. It's just things like that that I think about. Like, you know, this is a money investment that we could have somewhere down the road. Or we could just sell it and give it to somebody else who wants to start out on their own like me and my husband did. And, yeah, it's just stuff like that. Um, I hope I went over everything. If not, if you have any more questions about anything that you might or if anything I forgot about comment down below don't be scared to ask me anything tell me anything i'm not that scary so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big huge thumbs up i upload every three days due to working purposes and as always you guys are beautiful stay true to yourself don't let nobody tell you otherwise because if they are slap that hoe okay i'll see you guys